How's it, everyone? Welcome to another string review right here on Open Chord. I'm Ken, and today I'm testing out another Luxalon string. So Luxalon polys are some of the most popular ones on the market. They are a little bit on the expensive side, but today I am trying the cheapest Luxalon poly that I could find. That is the Luxalon Adrenaline. Let's check it out. So the Adrenaline is relatively cheap as far as Luxalon polys go. One set of this costs around $12. Most of the top quality ones like the Alu Power for example are around $20. So this is on the cheaper side. This is uh, the construction is made from a liquid crystalline polymer. Basically what that means is that it has a slightly stiffer makeup for those people who take humongous swings that want something that will corral their power. So consequently, the adrenaline is going to be a little bit stiffer according to the ratings than the traditional Alu Power. If you've ever tried Big Banger, I think that's still probably Luxlon's stiffest, the Big Banger original. The Alu Power, in my opinion, is not too stiff, um, but this adrenaline is rated a little bit stiffer. So it'll probably play a little bit along the lines of like a RPM blast kind of thing where it's meant to corral that power for those who really take aggressive cuts and want something a little bit deader to keep their shots inside the lines. There are two gauges for the Adrenaline, a 130 and 125. I'm trying the 125 as I usually do. I like thinner strings and it comes in also a rough edition as well if you want something slightly softer and possibly a little bit more spin potential. But this uh, Luxlon, when I was stringing it, it's very easy to string and it has a nice slippery coating. So for a traditional round poly, I feel like it's going to have some decent snapback. So I got the Luxlon Adrenaline strung up in my Speed Pro, the Graphene 360 edition. Uh, the Adrenaline comes in a silver color, which is a slightly different tinge of silver than the Alu Power. So I have it strung at 52 pounds in the mains and the crosses. That's what I usually string it at. So I'm going to try it out and I predict that this is going to be one of those control oriented strings that doesn't have a lot of bells and whistles but is probably more towards those aggressive bass liners, which to be honest, I'm not. I'm more of a servant volleyer. So we'll see how this adrenaline string complements my game. So let's start with the pros of the Luxalon Adrenaline. This string is marketed as a stiffer copoly monofilament that provides decent spin but amazing control on full swings. Does it accomplish this? I'm pleased to say that it does. This isn't really in the vein of RPM Blast, Focal Cyclone, or Hyper G where the sharp bite of the string provides enough spin to bring the ball down inside the lines. Instead, the Adrenaline is more of a string that stiffens up and saps some kinetic energy from the ball meaning the Adrenaline is not really meant for players who have slow swings or cannot produce a whole lot of racket head speed. The Adrenaline is meant for players who hit hard and flat. I'm not really that type of player, although I do like to take big cuts from the baseline, and this string complemented my baseline game when I wanted to swing away. I especially like the Adrenaline on my returns because I like to step in and take the ball early. I don't really produce much power from behind the baseline, but when I'm stepping in and redirecting my opponent's pace, that is when I feel the most confident. The adrenaline shines on these types of aggressive counterpunch shots. Even on my backhand, which is typically my weaker shot, I found good pace and I could get the ball deep. Aggressive baseliners, especially flat hitters, should find good control to keep their shots inside the lines. Although I wouldn't really classify the adrenaline as a spin string, I was able to hit short angle returns consistently. I was able to pull my opponent off the court and keep up the pressure, and the adrenaline has decent directional control. I could consistently run my opponent from left to right and I never really worried about my shot going wide or long because the adrenaline was so dead. This string really encourages you to swing big. Although I don't really produce a whole lot of my own power because of my shorter stature, I am an aggressive swinger so the adrenaline let me swing away on just about every shot. I especially enjoyed hitting running forehands because I could use my momentum and put my hips into the shot without much worry. Literally on everything I felt I had to just swing out otherwise my shot would land in the net, even on slices and lobs. If I swung haphazardly, my lobs would land short for my opponent to smash and my slices would clip the top of the net. I really had to push through every shot. 
This might be a con for most people because this string doesn't offer much help, but for me, I actually like this type of string because I don't have to think as much. I know I just have to swing for my shot to go where I need it to go. Springy strings or strings that are more muted are harder for me to grasp because I have to gauge my strength better. As for touch and feel, this string is on the muted side, but it isn't completely dead. The construction is quite stiff, so it does have some direct feedback, although the response isn't quite crisp like Alupower. However, I like the firm and muted feel on my aggressive volleys. I had to punch out a bit more to get power, but it felt very satisfying to be able to punch through a volley. Overheads felt great because I had no worry about sending those shots long, and high volleys, I just had to snap my wrist to generate power. I could get away with some undisciplined form on my volleys because the string is dampened enough where my shots wouldn't sail out. On low transition volleys, it took some effort for me to punch the ball over the net, but I prefer that to a string that I have to pull back on to not sail my first volley. And because the adrenaline is pretty stiff, the launch angle was fairly low. It helped that I put it in my Speed Pro, but I feel even in a more open pattern, I would still be able to keep the ball low and stay on the gas with aggressive strokes. A low trajectory might be a con to some people if you need help with depth and net clearance, but I like low launching strings because I play mostly doubles and I need to keep the ball low to prevent the opposing net person from attacking. And this string has a good price to performance ratio. It's cheap for a Luxlon poly, it is very durable and maintains tension well throughout the life of the string. But that's about it for the pros. The stiff construction leads to good control, but unfortunately the adrenaline doesn't do anything spectacularly. It is just an average string across the board. So let's talk about the cons of the Luxalon Adrenaline. This string doesn't do anything particularly special. Nothing jumps off the page with this string. The control is good on full fast swings, but the spin generation is average at best. If you're more of a vertical swinger, you may be able to get decent spin, but your shots will land very short. That's because this string has very little bounce, so it's difficult to hit deep if you're hitting straight up. Since the adrenaline isn't really designed for vertical swingers, my kick serve suffered a drop in spin and pace. Since I swing up and out on the kick serve, the adrenaline didn't generate much power and I faulted into the net quite a bit. I really had to pronate fast and jump into the court to get my kick serve over the net and even when it went in, it didn't have the kick I usually get with sharper strings. I can usually get some decent action on my kicker even with the Speed Pro, but with the adrenaline my kick serve just became a sitter. My slice serve didn't really fare much better. Because of the stiff makeup and low launch, my slice serves also found the net quite often. I really had to focus on making contact at the highest point. The flat serve was probably the best serve, but it's not something I use for my second serve, so if I ever faulted, I really had to exert effort into my second serve. Additionally, I've mentioned numerous times that the adrenaline is a stiff string. I actually like stiffer strings because they provide more direct ball feedback, but the adrenaline doesn't have as much feel as some of my favorite crisp polys like Alupower, Tourbite, and Lynx Tour. Since I'm a touch and finesse player, I had difficulty utilizing some of my shots in my arsenal such as drop shots and angle volleys. Also, the stiffness may bother some with sensitive arms. I used it in a tighter pattern at 52, but I don't have arm problems, so I'm probably not the best reference for comfort-based polys. The adrenaline is definitely stiffer than Alupower. But getting back to the feel, I just didn't really feel anything. I've read reviews and even Tennis Warehouse and Tennis Express said that the adrenaline is a crisp, lively playing string, but I didn't find that to be the case. It's not as dead as RPM Blast or Dunlop Explosive Spin, but it is still quite muted and stiff. I struggled hitting drop shots and angle volleys because I couldn't feel the ball on the strings and gauge height and depth. Also, anything hit off center just died as this string has very little power outside the sweet spot. In fact, it has low power even smack dab in the middle of the sweet spot. But if I hit off center, my shot would find the net or land short for my opponent to attack. If I could take a full swing, it was fine because the string's control would keep the shot in. But when I was forced to hit defensive slices or stretching on my backhand, my shot would become a sitting duck. Overall, the lack of feel and power made this string difficult to use, but the control is awesome on full swings. So who is the Luxlon Adrenaline String for? It's really only meant for strong, aggressive players with healthy arms who want to rip the cover off the ball. I think this string is more suited for flat hitters because the spin generation is average even among round polys. The Adrenaline may be a jack of all trades, but certainly is master of none. That doesn't make it a bad string, but it's hard for me to recommend this to anyone but big hitters. So that concludes my playtest of the Adrenaline. Next up is probably the Element, which I've heard is Luxalon's softest poly. So what do you guys think of Adrenaline? 
Let me know your thoughts in the comments and also comment if you want a review of the element. Thank you for watching this review of the Luxalon Adrenaline String right here on Open Court. If you guys like this content, be sure to overhead smash that like and subscribe button, and I'll see you on an open court.